Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Miss Johnson, an art teacher from North Carolina. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hello, my name is Nicola Johnson. I'm an art teacher based in Wilmington, North Carolina. And today, I'll be showing you how to make a pop art watercolor painting using Bimbe dots. To complete this project, you will need drawing paper, a pencil, a fine or ultra fine tip marker, Q-tips, water, and a watercolor set and paintbrush. First, you'll want to do a drawing of something that you think is popular. For here, I did ice cream with three different flavors and a napkin and pencil. Now, I'll be outlining it marker. After you've given your drawing a minute to dry, you'll want to erase your pencil marks. For a triadic color scheme, you'd have a choice between two main color groups. You could do your primaries, which would be red, blue, and yellow, or you could use your secondaries, which would be purple, orange, and green. You can use black and brown in either composition as much as you like because they're neutrals, they won't affect the overall color scheme. I think for mine, I'd rather stick to yellow, blue, and red. So I'm going to use my paintbrush to hydrate those colors along with black and brown. Now I can paint in whatever order I'd like. I just need to use each of these colors at least once in my composition. Now that my painting has completely dried, I can add my Binday dots. First of all, I want to hydrate the colors I'll be using. Some people will use a ruler to get a straight line. I actually prefer to use a scrap piece of paper because I can line the scrap piece of paper up with the side of my paper to give me a straight line. So when you're choosing which colors to do your Benday dots, you don't want to do the opposite because those can mix together and make brown. So since my background is red, I want to avoid green, but I could choose any of the other colors. I think actually I'll start off with black. and you're just getting your Q-tip hydrated and going straight down. And it looks like my Q-tip. I have enough paint on it, so I'll just apply it with my water. If 
if you have a light dot like this, you can always go back. And the stray paper, scrap paper, is also good to test on. So I put this over the camera. And I have my first dot. The trick is to go straight up and down. You don't want to go at an angle because you can change the size and shape of the dot. You also want to take your time and have fun doing it, and you'll get straight in line that way. When you get to the edge of your image, you can make a decision whether you'd want the dot to be from the red side or the blue side. I think for this, I'd like it to be on the red side. Now that the two halves are broken up, it's important to keep your lines straight. Now that I've gotten my ice cream, I'm going to take a different Q-tip and start in the blue. I think for the blue, I'm going to add red. 